What's up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. And yes, we're sitting right here where we left off. But unfortunately, there's going to be a twist. I had to reshoot this intro, because unfortunately, I lost a lot of footage. And I mean a lot of footage. But I want you to know, guys, again, I am terribly sorry about that. We just lost sound. The power went out in my house. When it finally came back on, I hit record, and everything seemed like it was working. But I got no sound out of the game. And unfortunately, the saves that I had before that were just too far back. So hopefully I've done the ending justice. I just want to say thank you for sticking with me through the series. This channel only exists because of y'all. Anyways, the name's Mad Max, and I hope you enjoy the show. You know, as I'm getting over here to this flaxseed, you know what I realize I don't have? I don't have a pickaxe. Okay, we're no longer coal, but I think there's one more area with flax. Yeah, it's all it's all right here. So we're gonna try to grab as much as we can. Alright. Oh a rabbit. Oh my god, I'm so sorry, dude. Give me your skin. Alright, we got all the flax we can get off the island, I think. Um, we need, there's silver, which we're going to need for weapons, right? For bullets, maybe bombs. So we need silver. That's coal. There's the iron. Okay. I don't know how much silver we can get and how long it's going to take. It take, oh, wait a minute. Two hours. Negative 200. Let's get it all. Get back to the ship. Drop all this silver off. You know, guys, on my run back, I was sitting here thinking that I should have brought stuff to build a dock. I feel like that probably would have been a smart thing to do. You know? But... I'm not a very smart person. Iron. Okay. All right, good. It stopped raining. Now we can come back tomorrow and grab the rest of the iron. I don't even know if I'm going the right way or not. I feel like I'm gonna hurt myself. All right, hopefully this is like easy peasy. I don't really want to run back up here. But we've got two. Take an hour. Alright. Oh my god, we got 50 pounds. 68 pounds. What can I drop? Nothing. Alright guys, it's going to be a long, slow trek back, but I don't know what else to do. I'm going to drop all this off. We're going to head back. I'm going to try to be smart and build some docks on these islands, so that way we're not sailing the whole way. But it took me way too long to figure out I should probably do that. I'm going to blame you guys. Y'all didn't help me. All right. We got plenty of iron. Um, I know if we go back here, Sulphur Island doesn't. It just has sulfur. But we can get some iron and copper on Crocodile Island. So we're definitely going to come back and hopefully harness everything. I think we still have one. What is that? That's a chicken. I think we still have one iron deposit back on back in the Puma region okay let's go let's head back home let's grab some sails make some iron ingots and get our asses back here home sweet home you know as we were doing this I just realized too we probably have 10 survival points oh god all right learning hold up concentration Highlights dangerous animals, so we'll do that one. Um, I like that. I like better sleep. Okay. Sweet. Whereas Will Ferrell likes to say, sweet as sweet. Now. We will... 
make our iron. We didn't grab coal. So we're gonna have to be careful with that. I know we can make a coal pile. How do we do that? Yeah, let's let's just do this. Now what do I do? Just put okay, firewood. Awesome. Now we ain't gotta worry about that. And fantastic. An hour and forty minutes. And an hour and a half in there. And it is mm, trying to think. That'll take an hour and a half. But we have a chance of injury. Yeah, screw it. Sweet. We didn't hurt ourselves. go and that'll be good right there that should cover that go to sleep booyah and this should be done there we go we got four iron ingots let's figure this out so we have s oh my god seven days um I'm guessing that's working. So we can make five coal. It'll take eight hours. Oh, it's in the slots. I'm so dumb. Okay. Now, this said eight hours, right? So then let's pick up our frogs. I don't really know what dry frogs do. We didn't figure that out. Oh, yes. We just made 16 fabric. And... Do a few more. I don't even remember how many of these ingots that we have. Oh, we just got one. Okay. We do have silver. So... There we go. Make all of our silver. We're gonna check this out. Got our salt feeder. We gotta go kill some animals. Pick you up. All right, I picked it up. There's some piggies. And the carcass. There we go. Don't know how much that's actually going to give us. But we'll put some in here. I think I probably let this burn for too long. I did. An hour and 20 minutes. Let it burn for late, way too long. Okay, um... Crafting... It's two iron ingots for a pistol base. We have four iron ingots. I want to make sure I don't need those for the ship. I'm not too worried about it yet. We can grab more iron from the other island. That might be the last thing we do in that region is take on that boss. We're going to harvest all the resources that we can. Okay. Um, I have a needle. I need to make some pants. And we'll make our clothes. There we go. Oh, nice. Full set of linen clothes. Hell yeah. 
we are set. That finishes in an hour, so we're just going to go ahead and extinguish that. And let's get back. It's going to be dark. It'll be alright. No worries. We're professionals. This thing is like, it's like it's barely like taking any kind of damage. Back to the Ark ship. Well, it's nighttime, but we finally made it. It's because we're professional sailors. Okay. Let's uh, drink some water. Let's go to sleep for the night. There we go. It is dark as hell outside. Now, you guys remember... It wouldn't let me... Oh, hold up. There it went. Yes, okay. <laughs> Guys. Um, it is almost dark, so I don't necessarily... Oh, but I gotta take the helm. Oh my god. <gasps> Dude. I have a bed made of skins. Yes. 300 pounds. A winch. You can put... Oh my god, yes. What's down here? Living space? Oh. Oh my. Oh my god. Guys, I'm so happy. Okay. Oh my god. I'm gonna get dizzy. Okay. It's way too crazy to take my beautiful new ship out. So we're gonna have to uh, drink some water. Go to sleep. Awesome. It's still kind of nasty out, but guess what, guys? We're gonna take our ship out. I keep falling in the water. The art ship doesn't want me to take it out. Like, this is silly. Here we go. Oh my god, let's go. <gasps> now we gotta sail it out to the sunken galleon. Where was that at? Okay. You just gotta... Alright. Let's get out. I'll hang a right. Oh my god. We are freaking doing it. Oh! The sun's coming up. Breaking through the clouds. And we're on our ship. Take up cannon parts using winch from the Ark. Are there multiple cannon parts? I didn't bring my freaking stuff. Take the hook. Can we dive down? Oh god, yeah there are. I see him. Oh my god, guys. I don't know why it's so satisfying. It may make it... <laughs> okay. Ammo chest. That's right, that's what's at that ship over there by our main island, right? It's an ammo chest. Here we go. There we go.
That is flipping awesome. All right, pull it up. Oh, step, take up cannon parts using winch. We did it. Now we gotta go build our cannon, which is up here. Oh my lord, sail to the Bimini belt on the arc. I can't do that yet. This is flipping fantastic. And look, we have all these little lamps. All right. And this is our living space, so we can put stuff in here, right? Like, uh, more storage. I guess. I don't know. We're going to find out. I wonder if we can just pull up next to this. Yeah, look, we're run I think we're running aground. Pretty sure we just ran aground. Let's find out. Yep. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Let's uh let's just put everything we got in here. Dude, we are flipping can piece the doors. Now we need to go all the way to Crocodile Island. We gotta find a landing spot. Alright, well, let's go ahead and gear up. We need to find a tree. Or something. Pick up some tinder. There's the swamp. There we go. We gotta find a big tree. Don't really see one. There's nothing around us, right? Just him? I don't know how deep that gets. Holy crap, he's in the water. Oh. oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I could not see him. Well, this is the worst. Oh my god. I'm gonna at least, if anything, I'm going to take their tendons. You know, all that I can get. You know, I will say this. Ooh, what is that? It seems like there's a lot less caiman on this island. Which is probably a good thing. Ancient drawing. He's running off. Song of the Poisoned Wells. When the smoke from burn Stormbreakers cleared and the moon has died again, immortals went to mortals' villages one more time. And they threw the bodies of dead animals into the wells to let them rot and decay and poison the water. Villages did not notice at once that their wells were carrying death, and they drank the water, and they were sick and dying. Across all the islands, in every mortal village reigned death and sickness. The stench of corpses filled the air. And yet there was no healing water of the fountain, nor the stormbreakers to bring it. And a mournful cry echoed across all the dwellings. Holy crap. Well, that explains why they're so pissed. Is this one of those wells? Yep. Take some native maps. Let's see, what's this? Eucalyptus can we map from here? No, oh my god, I freaking didn't bring charcoal. Oh, guys, I'm freaking... I don't even know. It's frustrating when I don't realize things. Oh, what is this? Oh my god.
There's a dude. Yes. Well, howdy, sir. Natives shaman. Who are you? Uh, finding a common language, a new goal. Oh crap! Look, I can. Can I sleep in there? I can sleep in your tent. Requires a plate with native symbols. Okay. Um, I thought I... I stopped tracking that. Find a way to communicate. I guess that means there's stuff here? I don't know. Okay, let's go grab our, uh... Let's go grab our freaking stuff. That was cool! Alright, let's map. There we go. Play deposit. What's this? <gasps> the alchemist Francisco Maurice came to this island in the course of the expedition by the order of Ponce de Leon. Looks like he was attacked by the crocodiles in this swamp. He was trying to escape from them on a high rock. Predators forced the scientist into a trap. He could not leave his hiding place and the poisonous fumes of the swamp were slowly killing him. The alchemist did manage to discover some potion during his researches. This recipe might come in handy. Really like this dude's voice. But that really sucked. Should have brought a spear with you, dog. Diligence potion. Temporarily reduces time taken for pro- oh, That's freaking cool, but look, it's a deer horn. And vanilla. Okay. Oh my god. That freaking snake just bit me and took me to level two. I hate the animals in this game. Surely this, uh... Shaman's language bricks... Are in here. Clearly the, uh... Deposits that I need are gonna be in here. What is that? That's a freaking jawbone. <gasps> what is that? Obsidian. That's legit. It's all foggy and stuff in here. Here a puma. Or a jaguar. Oh, there he oh my god, there's a couple of them. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. There's no way. Oh, jerk. Alright, is this one of them? Red stone. I actually like the fact that it seems like these things are... are all in here. Because that would have sucked to have to go explore the other islands to find these things. That's a human body. Oh. Native map. I think I hear another one. Hunter sandals. Blue stone key. Where are the, uh, the mines at got everything out of there 
We found obsidian. Oh my. Oh! <gasps> Oh, that was cold. Dude! I so much love this game. There's so much to it. But... This, I feel like we just... I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut through this. Oh my god. Oop, there's another puma. Um. What we got here? Cookbook. Oh, one, two, three. Oh, oh god, don't do it! Oh my god, I just, I just did it without even hesitating. That is how you die. Oh, wait a minute. That is a hundred percent how you die from stuff. Oh, already did it. Okay. Still. <gasps> oh, I'd, be, I'd be cold too, dude. Plate with native symbols. Nice. Native's diving mask. Well, I've already got one of those, but I'll take it. Song of the Great Order. When the madness was over, the people of the four tribes started working together with the same passion as when they stormed the belt. And as the Great Four once worked together on the first Stormbreaker, the four tribes worked together on many more. The skilled buffaloes created Stormbreaker vessels based on the design of the first Stormbreaker. The wise birds charted the safest routes for Stormbreakers in the best days for sailing across. The brave jaguars led the Stormbreakers through the fog and currents and carried the blessed water of the fountain back to the people. The ingenious snakes turned this water into new potions which gave those who drank them the vision of an eagle and the agility of a fox. But most importantly, they produced potions that prolonged youth for those who drank it, and not a single drop of the blessed water was lost since those times. Oh my god, dude, again, the story is so awesome! What's that? Nothing? Okay. Still missing some stuff. We can now talk to that guy. Oh god. Yo, dude, that sucked. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Okay. Hey, yo. Oh, Man again is hey, here. Yo. Yes, I understand hey, now. Yo. Alphabet you bring here. Understand we each hey, other. Yo. Goodness. Hey, Who are you? Hey, yo. I is... Umbavis, snake tribe shaman. I hide inside labyrinth with living water. I survive wars of the immortal. Ah, that's the war that destroyed your civilization, right? Correct. Correct, that is. Many of my tribe captured, executed because paralytic poison. So I hid here. Well, tell me more. I was an honored one. Person sowing seeds of division between tribes. Living water, pride, and greed destroyed my civilization. My people died. I witness. Because of me, punishment is to be last one. Live many years alone. Well, that's sad. What's the paralytic poison? It's better to show you than talk. You bring frog carcass from swamp, and I make poison. You find frogs on Yellow Island. Got it? Heading out now. <gasps> well... Um, that means we gotta go back to Sulphur Island and kill some frogs at night. Because they're not out here, right? Oh, God! 
Holy shnikes. Alright, so we gotta go back to Sulphur Island. And bring that guy some... Some poison. Yeah, let's just go to sleep. There we go. Alright. Um, we still... We're a little heated. There are no trees on this island. There's really nowhere to go up there and even map. Too bad we can't, like, climb up there. Alright. Well, guys, um... We have a place we can park when we come back here. I guess we need to go back to Sulphur Island. And... It looks like we can actually land here and go up. It'll also let us, I think, go through and get into the swamp. But, first, let's go back and build our armor and build some weapons. We may need to go... Let's see. I was really hoping to get some more iron out of that. But if we go back to the Puma region, there is a sunken ship. We know Iron Island does have a spot for us. We can go up into the mine and collect stuff. There is a, uh, a wheelbarrow for us. Let's do that. Let's go back to Iron Island real quick. Now, when we get back, I'm going to try to put some of that equipment into our ship. If that makes sense. Alright, let's see. Yes. There is something here. I saw the percentage on the side. I didn't notice that before. <laughs> We're so close. 30%. 20%. Oh my god, that was close. Okay. And I don't want to touch the jellyfish. I, I really do feel like that's going to eat me. I'm going to take that chip barrel. We're going to figure this out. Set the tools. Play pot. Put it on my shoulder. Let's freaking go. Ooh. Well, that, that's fun. A navy coat. Full protection from sun, cold, wind, and rain. 15 armor units. Let's go get this last little bit of iron from this place. And then we're going to head back home, and we are going to load up. Or... Yeah. Alright guys, so here's the plan. We're going to go in here, we're going to load up on iron, we're going to head back to base camp, we're going to smelt everything we got. Try to make everything we got. We'll head back to the snake region. We'll get a couple frogs. We'll see if that dude can make us some, some poison. And then we'll kill the boss. And then we'll head to, to Bimini. We're just going to back this big ol' ass up. Of course. I think I hear the other one. Oh, I hear dogs. 
There are dogs in here. Uh, how in the world did that dude get me? Okay. I don't really want to tangle with any of that stuff. Not really, anyway. Alright. Yep. We do have heat in here. That really sucks. I do think I have the, the termite stuff. I think. Now. I'm trying to remember exactly where this mine is. I think it's up there by that rock. Oh crap, I bet there's freaking bats! Oh no! <gasps> Yep, I forgot about the bats. Dude, how much would that have sucked if my cart rolled off and fell? We do all. I think we'll be okay. All right. We just gotta drop it. There we go. Let's get the hell out of here. We're going to take all this ore and put it up here. I know we left a lot of copper and obsidian back there on Cayman Island. I don't know if we really need that anymore. We're going to find out. But let's go. Let's go home. <laughs> Target dock is blocked. It's blocked because it's too dang uh, shallow. That's crazy. We're gonna have to make a freaking dock out at the end. Oh well. Now where is this? Okay, that sounds really funny, guys. You don't hear that? It's the fire. We're gonna... We're, we're gonna extinguish the fire. It just... Fire sounds funny. But anyways, let's get over here. And let's grab this this other treasure chest. Now if I'm not mistaken, it's kind of right here in the front. Yes. Oh, there's a freaking body right there. Where you at, you coward? Dude, he's moving much faster. Remember how the sharks were before? <gasps> they fixed it in the update. <laughs> you jerk face. What is this? Key to the door on the pole? Oh, my. Okay. Let's, uh... Yes. On the bow. Wait a minute. Where is the bow of the ship? This is the aft, right? No, this is the bow of the ship. Sorry, guys. This is the bow of the ship. Ooh. Oh, 
please tell me there's something fantastic in here. Journey beyond the three seas. Got some more tools. Oh god. Is that it? I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm happy. Bamboo seeds. Alright. Let's, uh... Let's go grab our chain. Unfortunately, what I think that means about our ship is I may have to build a better wheelbarrow because we're going to pull all our main resources off this ship. I don't think I can take it into that cove. There we go. Let's see what we got. I love. Oh, and you have to build one. We got one. So we have 30 cannonballs. Crap ton of gunpowder. Well, I guess what we'll do is we'll go ahead and camp out here. And alrighty, guys, this is where everything messed up. Thanks again for sticking with me. But here we go. Oh my god! <gasps> oh, that disappeared! Oh my god, no, there's a snake! <gasps> there's a flipping snake! I'm shooting it. Oh! No, 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 don't die, don't die, don't die! How do I? <gasps> Holy crap! The great flipping serpent. What you got for us? <gasps> Great cutter. Recommended to use as a weapon. Has maximum efficiency. Base durability 400. Deals at least 26 damage per hit with a 50% chance. Can kill an enemy in one. Oh my god. Palace of Trials. And when elders have spoken, Skellion of Buffaloes, one of the great four, took 40 best craftsmen of his tribe, and they went to the blessed Bimini and created the Palace of Trials there for those who crave the waters of fountain to be tested. And the palace contained halls to test the chosen, and every hall was a trial, and the halls tested strength and skill, cleverness and courage, knowledge and wisdom of the chosen ones. 
Worthiness could pass to the palace court, to the fountain itself, for the palace was built around it. After finishing the palace, Skelly and the buffaloes proclaimed that nothing better could ever be built, and the forty craftsmen agreed, and the forty craftsmen accepted a voluntary death by the hand of Skelly and himself as to not ever reveal the secrets of the halls, either by will or by oversight. Holy crap, they built this place and he killed them? This sounds like our government. Song of Bimini. For hundreds of years, the four tribes lived on these islands, hunting, trading, quarreling, and making peace again, growing crops and gathering herbs. And they sailed between islands, for the area was vast and the sea held many islands, big and small. But there was one island no one could reach, the sacred island of Bimini, which translates to far nearby island. The belt of Bimini, made of rapid currents, sharp reefs, and thick fogs surrounded the island, guarding it reliably and constant storms raged across the belt, bringing death and destruction, and there were no boats strong enough and no men skilled enough to pass the Bimini belt. The belt of Bimini, excuse me. Song of the Burned Ships. And so the immortals committed terrible deeds for which they were cursed forever by many. And first of those deeds was the burning of ships, in the darkness of the night and the dying moon, immortals snuck into the villages of mortals, with their ships and boats, and flared with a great blaze the ships in the night, set on fire by the best people. And the first to burn were glorious stormbreakers, the ships made to cross the belt of Bimini. Woken up by fires, mortals fell upon the fire starters in great anger, slaying them with no mercy. And the blood of immortals turned sand red, and all those who burned the ships fell that night. But all the ships were burned to ashes, and mortals were left with no boats, no rafts, and no stormbreakers. Song of the Journey of Great Four Soon after, when the weather was good and the winds were favorable, as predicted by wise Atoro, Atora, I don't know, with a supply of potions made by ingenious Omnibus, driven by skillful hands of Tonteg and Skellion, the stormbreaker sailed off into the fogs of Bimini. Forty days and forty nights the tribes waited for the return of the Great Four, but no one came. Forty weeks the tribes held on to the hope, but then the hope was gone. Forty years they sang songs about four bravest sons lost forever to Bimini Belt, and yet another forty years the elders told legends about stormbreakers sailing away. And when those legends were almost forgotten, suddenly from the fog of Bimini Belt came the stormbreaker. The Great Four returned home. Oh my god, dude, look at this. Oh, Jaguar. Cows. What are we doing here? The drawing on this plate shows trials that a successor needs to pass to reach the fountain. Well guys, I just gotta say it again, I am so sorry. Not really sure what happened. Anyways, Pobody's nerfic. So I hope you can forgive me. And I was able to go back and this is the save that I have. So thanks for sticking with me. It's time to do this. Look at this asshole. It's Fernand Delgado. It was Fernand indeed. He told me his horrific story in an attempt to convince me to side with him. Fernan had pursued his secret goals from the very beginning of the expedition. 
He cunningly disguised his intentions, helped the team, and even saved Ponce de Leon from death. But when the commander unraveled the ancient map, Fernan had to unmask himself. He attacked Ponce and the scientist, took the map, and left them to die in the underwater temple. Fernand convinced the San Cristobal crew that the commander and the scientist had died in the traps of the temple. He was able to become the captain of the ship in this way. With the ship under his control, he dealt with everyone who could find the fountain one by one. All these people died at the hands of a fanatic. He was driven by the belief that the secret of the Fountain of Youth would spell disaster for all humanity. Fernand thought that the fountain would destroy Europe the same way it had destroyed the ancient civilization on these islands. Therefore, he swore that no living soul would get their hands on this demonic artifact. He thought he was doing it for the greater good, and that God was helping him, until the engineer managed to injure him in a fight. Fernan had to break his vow and use the ancient map to sail to Bimini through the Sea Gate. With the help of the map, he mastered the secrets of the temple and healed his fatal wound at the fountain. Here is where we met. He thought he could convince me to take his side and help him kill everyone who knew about the fountain. This dude is an absolute jerk. Delgado, I would rather die than support your betrayal. My companions deserve to be avenged. Prepare to meet God. Oh God, I forgot. And then this guy shows up. Oh god, I forgot. He freaking wrecks. And your freaking gun takes so long to reload. such a jerk. Now this one I don't quite remember, but... Oh god, I forgot to do this. You gotta go back and forth. And... Okay. Heal myself. And I gotta swap guns. Take so long.
This is where he should have got the blunderbuss. Oh, this one's the hard one. And I think they moved. Stay crouched. There we go. Oh, God. Okay. I've got to find a way to heal myself. That's better. I think at this time he actually shoots at you. Oh, I think he heals himself. Luckily he's slow. Missed. That was a stupid move. One more hit, one more hit, one more hit. I'm gonna hit him with the saber. Yes! Spread eagle and everything. There it is, guys. The freaking fountain of youth. Drink it. I cannot believe that I have reached my goal. The fountain of youth is in front of me. One sip from the fountain was enough for my memory to return. Now I remember everything. I am Captain Juan Ponce de Leon. That one threw me for a loop? All this time, I have been following my own footsteps. When I discovered the way to be many at the underwater temple, the stealthy killer attacked us and took the map. I was badly wounded. Despite the wound, I managed to escape. I jumped into the water, fleeing from the killer. I lost consciousness in the water, and the currents carried me back to the Island of Hope. The blow to my head was very significant. I woke up not knowing who I was. You must work out. When I woke up on the Island of Hope, I stumbled upon my own footsteps and followed them. I did not remember that I had already been in these places. This was so freaking awesome. Look how much it heals you. <laughs> oh my god. That was actually a tougher fight than the first one. I forgot what to do on that last section. Here's my dang map. Freaking ass wipe. Vernon's confession. Strength is leaving me. Looks like I will die trying to reach the fountain. If God has decided for me to go to hell, then he must choose somebody else to bear my cross. For this person, I write this note while my life is draining out of me. By the name of the Holy Mother, I declare that all my evil deeds were for the good of humanity. I wanted to save the old world from the disaster which this fountain could bring. Chronicles about an extinct civilization which I found here showed me a terrible truth. 
this fountain can cure a man just as well as it can destroy all humankind. I have managed to send to heaven all who knew how to find the fountain. Only our engineer Gaspar managed to hurt me in return. Apparently his hand was driven by God himself, because there is no place on earth for such a cold-blooded murderer as I. I hope no one will ever find my body in this note, but if you are reading this, you must continue my work and keep the secret of the fountain. Carry this knowledge to the grave for the sake of humankind. First Mate Fernan, loyal servant of God and of all mankind. Oh, guys, it's so freaking hard because you know, like, the guy was actually probably doing the right thing. Like, could you imagine if we actually found the Fountain of Youth? I mean, there would be wars fought over that thing. Probably nuclear war. We got a survival point. Song of the Hermit. I am a taro of birds, the last of the great four. Once a great wise man, now a lonely hermit. I've witnessed the rise and fall of my people, and I'm warning those who read this, be wise and careful. The Fountain of Youth is a great good, but fear those who taste this good beyond measure. Just as a medicine taken without measure will become a deadly poison, just as a good bestowed upon weak-spirited will create in them pride instead of gratitude. Thus be careful in your wish to bring people good, and do not repeat the mistake of my people. <laughs> oh man. Guys, this was absolutely freaking epic. Again, I'll probably apologize a hundred more times the remainder of this video i'm so sorry oh and i hope you can forgive me i put up like six sticky notes on my uh computer monitor to remind myself to hopefully not let that happen again Now this is the one part that confused me. It's like not everybody's dead. Look at that ship, the San Cristobal. This expedition cost many lives, but we found what we were looking for. Still, Fernand's last words kept spinning in my head, causing doubt and concern for the fate of Europe and the world. A man without a dream is not a man. But what if that dream can destroy the whole world? And the dreamer himself? The gift of immortality has already destroyed this advanced and prosperous ancient civilization. Can Europe bear the burden of this gift? According to historical records, in July 1521, Juan Ponce de Leon was wounded by a poisoned arrow during the conquest of Florida. As he was dying, he spoke of the mysterious island of Bimini and asked his crew to take him there as soon as possible. He died shortly after that. The mystery of the Fountain of Youth still remains unsolved hell yeah overall percent 81 we got a lot of stuff guys i'm not gonna sit back and read it but we did freaking good <laughs> 47 hours of game time 190 days andre at odinsoft man you did a great job this was so fun i'm so happy we stuck with it but again i'm so sorry about the ending and going back to juan ponce de leon in his conquest of Florida. If that's absolutely true that he spoke of Bimini, um, I would urge you to Google or YouTube the Bimini Road. It's such a cool concept. It's one of the reasons why I do believe in the lost civilization of Atlantis. I believe in those other cities that are like off the coast of Japan, that they were wiped out in a great flood. I won't go any more details in that, but guys, Google that stuff. It's absolutely fantastic. And I think that's why I fell in love with this so much, because the whole story behind Bimini Road and Bimini Belt Anyways, guys, gals, thank you so much for your love. Thank you for your support throughout this series. But this is where we come to a close. But nevertheless, our adventure is not yet over. So stay frosty, stay mad, 
and I'll see you all in the next one.